Yeah, easy, huh? Three sort of like this. Yes, indeed. It's that one. 30B Ballard's Lane is where our parcel's going. I maintain that you get two jolly good servings out of this. But you've got to have a look at this when it's nice and dry. Here we go. Not Shall we clear up, Sally? Yes, sir. Have we time to go again? Yes, we have. I haven't got the sauce. Scrape it off there, Sally. We will go again and nobody will ever know. Sally can salvage enough sauce. And I've managed, I think, or shall have managed to get enough sauce. Off the floor, don't anybody eat it. Because it's got brown flecks in it, you see. And scarlet with chagrin and white with shame. I don't know how to do it all in one. I think that was a lovely shot in my face, I should think, at that moment, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll bet. That's so I've got now to go as quickly as I can make another omelette. Yes. And now it is set sufficiently, and it will be nice and golden on the bottom. And so you slide your spatula underneath, and you tip it over, and you tip the fan up. Very simple. Then you have ready a heated dish. And when the, you think the edges are sufficiently sealed, I tipped the bloody thing on the floor. What am I going to do? That slid straight out of the pan. You better scrub round it, I think. Well, that's coming I can't miss you about the whole afternoon. I've never done this in my life. Look, I threw out my trousers. Hey, honey, it's all right. Am I past it or something? No. No, no. no. We're cooking like that. Gosh. What would you What would you like to do? Would you like... I'll tell you what. Would you like us... Would you, would you like us to stand down for a couple of minutes? and then come back to it. Rather sort of go straight. Go and do that for right, me. Fine, yeah. Let yes, come. Lovely. That's, that's smashing. Right. We'll do that. Right. I'll go quietly and have a cigarette and then come back yes, and try and I ran that clean out of the pan. For which there can be no excuse. <laughs> Watch that, Sally. So they dragged her off to her dressing room and gave her intravenous omelette. See if you can get it. Here it comes. Three to one. Close your eyes. You say you want a revolution Is there anybody going to listen to my story? Ah, look at all the lovely people Well, that was it, guys. It's large. You're gonna get next to me. Unfortunately, the evil stenching enemy had thrust up an invisible protective ray, which stopped the warheads just short of their target. My job was clear. I had to somehow get from the Mud Moon to Thargoidia, weaken the shield, and let the bombs fall through. I'd die in the attempt, of course, but it was my duty. It's his duty, folks. Keep the evil swines in power. It arrived on time and landed just near the cave. The door slid open. Out came the guard, pointed his grunge gun at us, and bellowed, Load the shuttle, you insignificant mealy mouth scum! While the mud men obeyed the command, Carla whipped out some elastic from her space suspenders. Here, Captain. I plopped a fat, juicy mud pie in it and aimed it at the guard. Take this, fiend! He reeled back as his big green eyes sizzled in agony. I've got his gun, Captain. Professor. Yes, Captain. Get all the mud men aboard. We're gonna need their help. Right away. Once we'd loaded all the mud men, I took off. As we approached the planet, I had to steer carefully as all around it were poised atom bombs from Earth just hanging there, mission uncompleted. Oh, Captain, you're so brave and stuff. It's nothing, Carla. Hand me a fag, will you? But, Captain, you know what Just a slight didn't... attack of space nerves. Oh. Boy, wait till the Thargoids see what's in the hold. Here. They'll freak. <laughs> 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 
tune in next week, space fans.